Hey guys and welcome to Heidi Gastro. In today's video we're going to be talking about a very interesting topic and that is pubic lice which is more commonly known as crabs. So let's get started. So what is pubic lice or crabs? Pubic lice, also known as crabs, are tiny parasitic insects that may infest one's genital area. These lice feed on human blood and cause intense itching in infected areas. In very few cases, these lice may also be found in one's eyelashes, armpit hair, and facial, which mean moustache and beard hair. So from this definition of crabs, we get that they are actually tiny parasitic insects that may infest mainly the genital areas, but can also be found in other parts of the body where we have coarse hair, which is like the eyelashes, armpit hair, and moustache and beard hair. And these insects are very important because they actually feed on the human blood and it actually caused great discomfort for the patient and they are very itchy. So this is basically what the Krebs infection looks like. So what do these lice look like? So the pubic lice infection is also called Krebs because the threus pubis lice have two large front legs that look like the claws of a crab. So if we take a closer look at this image down below, we see why it's given that nickname Krebs because it's actually got a very crab-like look. So the adult pubic lice and lice eggs are very small, they're about 2 millimeters long and can be seen in the coarse hair with the naked eye. And as we can see in these images down below, we see what these little lice look like. So the lice are yellow-gray or dusky red in color and they each have six legs. They lay their eggs in nets or sacs that stick to the hair and are a pale brownish color. And when the eggs hatch, the empty egg sacs are whitish in color. So this is basically this is what the egg attached to the hair follicle looks like and this is basically what the adult lice look like and this is what it looks like when it's attached to the hairs of the patient. So how does one contract pubic lice? So pubic lice are most commonly spread through close contact with the body of someone who has pubic lice, most commonly during sexual activity including vaginal, anal or oral sex acts. It may also be spread during direct skin-to-skin -skin contact, such as hugging and kissing someone who has lice. And it may also be spread by sharing clothes, towels and bedding, although this is much less common. So the lice is most commonly spread through direct human contact, and this is because the lice actually need to crawl from the strand of hair of one person to infect the other individual, so it needs to crawl onto their hairs. The lice actually can't jump or fly, so the only way they can be transmitted is by crawling and therefore very close human contact is needed for one to contract this pubic lice. So what are the signs and symptoms of pubic lice? So the majority of patients will experience extreme itching in their genital region, which usually becomes more intense during the night. Patients may also experience a low-grade fever, irritability, lack of energy, and pale bluish spots near all their bites. The diagnosis of pubic lice so lice and lice eggs are usually diagnosed quite easily by visual examination of the affected area with a magnifying glass and an infestation is usually confirmed if moving lice are spotted. So this is basically how we can diagnose it. We can actually diagnose it with the naked eye in some cases and in some cases we can use a magnifying glass to make things easier. But this is actually what the visual aspect of pubic lice looks like. And finally, let's talk about the treatment of pubic lice. So the treatment of pubic lice consists of decontaminating the patient, their clothes and their bedding. So topical over-the-counter lotions and shampoos, permethrin lotions including RID, NYX and A200 can be used to remove pubic lice from the patient's body. The patient is also instructed to vacuum their homes and to clean their towels, bedding and clothing in bleach and hot water and machine dry them using the highest setting. And patients may need stronger medicines if the lice survive these efforts, and this includes malathione, evamectin, and lindane. And that brings us to the end of this video on pubic lice. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Hope you found the presentation very interesting and informative. Please make sure to turn on your bell notifications so you'll be notified every time we have a new upload. And if you'd like to download a copy of this presentation, you may do so by clicking the link in the description. Take care and bye for now.